Hi guys, Daniel here again. Welcome to our tutorial walkthrough. And today I'm excited to introduce you with our completely new revamped um, golden filter function. So this essentially is the complete redesign of our previous infamous function called KGR, keyword volume ratio. So uh, why did we have to, um, so I'm not gonna go into changes since it's a tutorial. So I'm gonna go straight in into how to uh, make use of this keyword. So let's say over here, I already have a keyword called indoor plants, right? Um, um, so the result turned out for me of 4,264 keywords, right? So uh, you will see that the button called golden filter. The purpose of golden filter is to help you right away figure out what long tail keyword uh, in this list of 4,264 keyword that is low in competition. And by low in competition, the way we define it is that it would have a low enough O and title number. So like I was explaining in a lot of our webinar, O and title essentially is a search operator to figure out or uh, to help you figure out how many times do the keyword here appear in a, a web, uh, the content title of a web page that try to rank, right? So um, do you know, you know, for example, if indoor plants probably would have, let's press on this and figure out. So um, usually like uh, like uh, uh, the previous function, one title usually will take quite a while to, to get all the data for you. So I already have a case in here that uh, are ready. So let's go to garden two. So for keyword garden tools, you have a 3,585. So the moment I click on uh, golden filter, it will disappear here and it will appear here as a filter for you. So what it is, I'll show you a bit later, but right now we'll focus on what we have here. So garden tool, O and title is 674,000 O and title, meaning that there's 674,000 websites out there that have the keyword garden tool in the title which they try to rank for the keyword garden tool, right? This is not the keyword which you want to rank <laughs> because it's so, there's so many other websites trying to rank for this particular keyword um, in this ca category, right? And worse yet, there's a keyword garden tool with the S and there's a 1.3 million own title and whereas the search volume is only 60,500. So, there's 1.3 million different websites right now, different web title right now that include the keyword garden tools in Google database, right? This number, keep in mind, are constantly changed since there's all the websites are changing in their, um, in their, in, in, in their indexing. Uh, you know, there's, there's things happen with websites, the numbers are constantly changing depending on your location, depending on which device you are, depending on which, uh, which, uh, location of the Google server that is re returning the result to you, right? But overall, it's a very, a very good measure to help you filter out keyword that has lower competition, competitiveness when it comes to content uh, creation, right? Because you want to know how many, how many website right now know about those keywords and put those keywords into their title. And if they do, and they put them in the title, then you know that, okay, the, they, they're trying to rank for that keyword, right? Okay, so uh, next up. So the reason why we update this 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 uh, this function is to make sure now we can cover almost every single cases. We can now assign a scoring system to almost every single keyword in here. We have to measure them against all in title, a search volume, and some other attribution in order for us to come up with an algorithm that could literally. Um, helps you to cover this, put out a score on every single keyword. So with every keyword that have score beyond 100 or mid 100, that keyword is not recommended at all, right? And what we realize is that, um, well, no, before I go into what we realize, there's, there's other things I want to no notice you too, is that the reason why we have to build our own scoring system is we have to figure out how to, uh, evaluate different type of keyword value, right? Because you see some keyword uh, that may have a very low own title number, but 
they may also have a very low search volume. Let's say you have one title one, uh, which is there's only one person trying to rank for that keyword, but the search volume only 10. So it doesn't really actually worth your effort as much. But let's say another keyword which have all entitled as 10, yet the search volume is 100. Now, the proportion is the same, yet the amount, the, the, uh, the keyword that has all entitled as 10 is actually has higher value than the keyword with all entitled as 1, right? And also the same, um, this, this, the same logic can be applied for keyword with have progressively higher all entitled amount. But if they can be compensated with yet even higher search volume, then it's still a very good, uh, a very good keyword, a very highly potential keyword, right? So, you see, when we reach to about hundred, we have to build a scale in terms of our algorithm to make sure and to tell uh, our software recognizing which keyword that has higher volume as it progress. So let's say if you have a, own, a keyword with own title one hundred. It also equal to the fact that you have that keyword have to have a search volume up to about three to four thousand for it to be considered a golden keyword, right? Meaning that that keyword would have so much potential, even though it's slightly harder to achieve ranking, but it's an amazing keyword if you can rank, right? And at the same time, we realize that this method doesn't necessarily fit with people who just start out with a new website. Right, people with a new website um, and just start out, uh, they don't have as much of SEO resources. They don't have the backlinks that needed. They don't have all the optimization skills. They don't have the knowledge. Um, so the way they will choose keyword is very different from people who is more advanced background. Right. So the people who has uh, that lo lo lowest um, newer uh, in SEO, they will want to choose keyword that right away can get into ranking, so you can earn that organic traffic you know as quickly as possible and the way we do that is you can filter out keyword by ranking probability and essentially what it means is that it will we will filter them by the amount of all entitled in each keyword right if a keyword uh, that has high potential to rank in top 10 meaning that the all entitled should be 10 to 1 right uh, less than 10 um, and then the, the 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 keyword we have probability to rank higher probability route to rank in top 20 they would have own title uh, less than 20, right? So that one way to filter help people with newer background uh, who also uh, look for exactly that type of keyword to rank, but it doesn't fit with people who are actually more advanced, right? And so therefore we have to develop a golden scoring system uh, for us to really help build in um, uh, a system that would fit best with both uh, target audience. Right, so let's um, click on here and see what we have. So over here, the moment you click on golden filter, we start filtering for you, and then we have a filter called golden score. So you go on golden score here, there'll be two tab. The first tab is by ranking probability, just like I was sharing with you earlier. So it says in here, which is our notice, keywords will be filtered by its probability to quickly rank on selected third position below. The more well-structured and optimized your website and your SEO plan are, the higher the probability will be. This will serve better for newer websites or for users with less resources looking for easy to rank keywords, right? So as you can see here, um, it will break down to two parts. The first is the self position in which you are looking for. Um, so right now is top 10, top 20, top 30, top 40. And as you scale over here, you will see the amount of keyword change. Right. This is a quick overview report. So this is an overview report for keyword with high probability rank in top 20 on top 30. So you will have about 1,500 keywords that has a, a high ranking probability in top 30. Right. You will have a total search volume of 180,000. You have average speed speed of, of 0 0.24 and average golden score of 0 0.63. Right. So, so if you click apply and that is your list or 1544 keywords, right? So that's the first way. A second way is you simply go on by potential value. So because if we already assigning, and it's funny, right? When we were doing this, we will run through millions of different data points in terms of keyword. We have to assign different attribution, we run different uh, data modeling, uh, just a lot of stuff. And it's, it's all this, this data science stuff. Um, 
I'm glad our team will have a, have a data scientist. Otherwise, I don't know how we could come up with, with something like this. But, but anyway, um, funny enough, after we run through millions of different cases, uh, the number that was recommended was 1.618. And that is the limit in which we recommend of, in terms of scoring. So any keyword that has score higher than 1.618, we would not recommend, right? But any keyword that has lower of this score, we highly recommend. So you can even move this downward. The closer it get to one, the higher quality of the keyword will be, right? So you have here also an overview report, uh, report and the, the, the data will run as you score, right? See, so as you scroll this, sliding it toward one, the amount of keyword lesson, right? So let's say now I want to get any keyword from this rank, from one to one point six. So I get a 600, 608 keyword. Click apply. Bam, here it is. So now you will see some keyword that is very different, right? And that will be keyword. Let's do all entitled highest, key lowest. So there you will see some keyword, let's say 47 right 47 all in title uh yet they have a search volume of 3600 search volume right actually this one have a's in it so i wouldn't take this keyword because it's a branding onto it well but it's still it's still fine if you're doing product anyways let's say this this keyword is another great keyword best battery power leaf blower right it has search volume 3600 yet it's only have 46 all in title. So with 46 all in title, it's harder for you to achieve ranking right away, but there's only 46 other people that have this keyword in their website. If you can rank for this keyword though, you actually be able to, to achieve traffic that coming from search volume of, of this, this high, right? So now all of these keywords now have this, this scoring. Right. Most of them will have OR in the range of 1.0 something and to 1.1. Um, and yeah, you can scroll down and there's a bunch of different keywords that's just like that. Garden Hose Harbor Freight. And it's one, 100, no, 1,300 search volume and all title is 26, right? Um, so out of a list of keyword, this much, you have 608 keyword that could play around. So you can do another filter where you exclude different keywords you would like, you know, you save them into your filter configuration, but whatever it is, it's a very easy to use. Um, despite how complex it is in terms of calculation and in terms of uh, algorithm that we put in place, we try to, we try to break those process down and make sure that whoever you are, whatever your need will be, the way you filter keyword could not get any easier than this, right? So hopefully this in this email, I was able to really bring forth for you um, how to kind of opt utilize our golden filter. I really believe this is one of a fundamentally revolutionary concept in which I don't think there's any other tool out there in the market that uh, are applying to help you look for those long tail golden low competitive yet extremely high conversion rate and easy to rank keywords right i mean in all our years of doing keyword research for our clients this is typically this is definitely one of the best way to quickly churn out keywords um, that are hidden in thousands and thousands of different list of keywords so there you get it right um so hopefully um that would help you uh and i'll see you in our next video series thank you very much for watching